Hi scholars, today we're going to be exploring halves, thirds, and fourths and trying to um, master writing the fractions, okay? So when we're looking at halves, we know from a couple of days now that something that shows halves shows two equal parts or shares, something that shows thirds shows three equal parts or shares, and sh something <laughs> a shape that shows fourths shows four equal parts or shares. So I will do a couple of examples for you, and then I want you to try labeling these shapes yourself with the fraction. So we'll start here at C. Um, if I'm looking over here at this shape, and I need to say how many thirds are shaded, I know that this one has two shaded in parts. So that means two of the thirds are shaded. I want you also to practice writing the fraction on the side. So how we can read a fraction is that the top number is the number of parts that are shaded in. The bottom number is the number of parts that are in the whole. I got that number by counting one, two, three parts in the whole. That's why it says thirds. Okay, so I'm going to label down here whole. And if you want to get really fancy and learn the vocabulary for that fraction, the top number is called the numerator. The bottom number is called the denominator. Okay? Um, I am also going to go over one other part of this section. Okay, these two sections are the same as the middle. So it's the same idea, okay? Um, in part D down here, it says circle the shape above that has a shaded area that shows one whole. Okay, so that means when it says shaded that the whole shape needs to be colored in. And looking here, that's one out of three pieces that are shaded. That's definitely not the whole shape being shaded. If I look over here, this one is colored in all the way. That means that shows one whole. But I also know that means three out of all of the thirds are shaded in. So I'm going to label this one as one whole. Well, I got to follow the directions too. It told me to circle it. Another way we would write that fraction is to say that three out of the three pieces are colored in or shaded. So I did a couple of examples for you. I want you to try the rest of it on your own. And we're gonna flip over to the next page. Okay, so all of these are different. They don't tell you if they're halves, thirds, or fourths. So the first thing you want to do is count how many pieces are in the whole shape, okay? so that you can call them halves, thirds, or fourths. So if I look at this shape, it's split into four equal pieces. One, two, three, four. So I know it's split into fourths. So I'm gonna write that down, and then it wants me to say, what fraction do you need to color so that one whole is shaded in? Oh my goodness, okay. So I see two are shaded in. So it wants me to find the part that is not shaded, the part I still need to color. So I need to color this one, so I'm going to go ahead and do it, and this one. How many parts did I shade? Out of all four, I shaded two. So that means I needed to color in two fourths to make the whole shape filled in. Okay, that's one example for that section. Oh, I forgot a very important part. I would also say that means I need to color in two out of the four. Okay, now I'm coming down to the bottom. Complete the drawing to show one whole. This is one third. Draw one whole. Hmm. Okay, well, if that's one piece, like it told me, one piece out of three thirds, then there has to be one, two, three pieces in the whole shape, and they all need to look the same as that first piece. So that would be one, two, because they need to be equal. Ooh, uh-oh. I'm trying my best to make them equal. 
three. So the whole shape would have to look like that. Okay? So that's the idea. You're supposed to draw more pieces that are the same exact size to create a hole with these directions on top. Okay, good luck. I bet you're going to do great today. Keep up all the hard work that you've been showing Miss R and I.